In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website using Go High Level step by step. If you want to follow along or try Go High Level yourself, there's a link in the description below for a free 14 day trial. Whether you're building a site for yourself or for a client, this walkthrough will help you understand every part of the process. We'll start from a blank account and go all the way to publishing your website live on the internet. First, go to your Go High Level dashboard and log in with your account. Once you're inside the main dashboard, look at the left-hand sidebar. You'll see a section called Sites. Click on it. Then, click on the Websites tab under that section. This is where all your websites are stored. If this is your first time, the page might be empty. That's OK. Now, click the button that says New Website. You'll be given two options. One is to start from a blank website, and the other is to use a template. If you want full control and want to design everything from scratch, go with the blank website. But if you want a faster way to build, you can choose from the pre-built templates. For this video, we'll start from a blank website so I can show you every part of the design process. Once you create a new website, you'll be taken to the website editor. This is where the real work begins. At the top, you'll see a name field. Type in a name for your website. This is just for your own use, so it can be anything. Then, you'll see your first page, which is usually named New Page. Click on it to open the page editor. The editor has three main parts. On the left, there is a panel where you can add sections, rows, and elements. In the center, there is the live preview of your website. On the right, you'll see settings for each element you select. The Go High Level Editor uses a drag and drop system. You don't need to know any code. To start building your page, you need to add a section. Click the Add Section button. You'll be asked if you want a full width, wide, or boxed section. Choose full width for now. Then, click Add Row inside that section. A row can be one column or multiple columns. Let's choose one column for now. Now click Add Element inside the row. This is where you choose what content to add. You'll see options like Headline, Subheadline, Image, button, video, and more. Let's add a headline. Drag it into your row. It will appear immediately in the preview. Click on the headline text to edit it. You can type in something like, Welcome to my website. On the right side, you'll see options to change the font, color, size, alignment, and more. Adjust it until it looks the way you want. Now let's add a subheadline below the main headline. Click Add Element again, drag a subheadline under the headline, and type in a message like, We help you grow your business online. You can style this the same way. Keep your fonts simple and easy to read. Now let's add a button below the subheadline. Click Add Element, choose Button, and drag it in. Click the button to edit its text. You can type something like, Book a call or learn more. On the right hand side, you can change the color of the button, its shape, and what happens when someone clicks it. Click the Action tab. Here, you can choose to link to another page, a calendar, a form, or an external link. For example, if you have a booking calendar set up in Go High Level, you can connect it here. This makes it easy for visitors to book time with you. Now, let's add an image to the page. Click Add Element, then choose Image. Drag it to wherever you want it. When you click the image, you can upload your own file or choose from previously uploaded files. Try to keep image sizes small so your site loads fast. You can also add padding and spacing using the style panel on the right. Let's say you want to add a video. Click Add Element, choose Video and drag it into place. Then paste the YouTube or Vimeo link into the settings. Your video will now play directly on the site. You can repeat this process to build the rest of your homepage. Add more sections if needed. You can create a Features section with icons, a Testimonial section, or a Pricing section. Every section can have its own rows and elements. Think of sections as the background blocks, rows as layouts within each section, and elements as the content. Now that we've built the homepage, let's talk about creating more pages. Go back to the main website editor by clicking the back arrow at the top left. Now click Add Page. You can give your page a name like About Us or Contact. 
Click to edit the new page and design it just like the home page. Use the same process. Add sections, rows and elements. Try to keep your styles consistent. Use the same fonts, colors and spacing so your site looks professional. Once you've created all your pages, it's time to link them together with a navigation menu. Go back to your home page. Add a new row at the top of your page. Then add a navigation menu element. This will let you add links to all your other pages. Click on the menu to edit the links. You can choose the pages you've already made or link to external websites. You can also change the look of the menu, like its color, font and spacing. You should also add a footer to the bottom of your pages. Add a new section, then a row, and add elements like text, links, and maybe social icons. This is where you can add your contact info, terms of service, privacy policy, or social media links. A good footer helps build trust with your visitors. Once your website looks the way you want, you should preview it. Click the Preview button at the top. This lets you see what your site will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Make sure everything looks good on all devices. Adjust spacing and font sizes if needed. You can click on any section and use the responsive settings to hide or show elements on mobile only. When you're happy with your site, click Save. Now go back to the main website dashboard. Click the Settings button for your website. This is where you set your site title, description, favicon and domain. If you want to publish your site under a custom domain, you need to connect your domain first. In Go High Level, go to the Settings tab in the left sidebar, then go to Domains. Click Add New Domain. Enter your domain name. You'll get DNS records that you need to add to your domain provider like GoDaddy or Namecheap. Follow the instructions to set your A record and key name. Once it's connected, Go back to your website settings and assign that domain. After assigning the domain, your website is now live. You can share the link with others and they'll be able to visit your site. If you need to make changes, just come back into the editor, make your updates and hit save again. You can also clone websites inside Go High Level. This is helpful if you want to reuse a layout for another client or project. Just go to the Websites tab Click the three dots next to your site and choose Clone. It makes a full copy that you can edit separately. And that's how you create a website in Go High Level from start to finish. From choosing your layout to adding content, linking pages, previewing for mobile, setting a custom domain and going live, it's all possible inside one platform. Whether you're building one site or many for clients, this process will save you time and give you control over your web presence. Design professional websites effortlessly with Go High Level's Builder. If you're thinking about trying Go High Level, remember to check out the link in the description. It gives you a free 14-day trial so you can test everything we talked about and see if it fits your business.